Welcome, welcome back to Boss Uncaged. So this particular video is a video based upon what I've been reviewing like on YouTube. I've been getting like information from like Facebook groups and just different groups out there. And it's this video is going to essentially solve two problems, right? One problem is course creators that are creating courses and that they're uploading their videos to their platforms. And sometimes with these platforms, there's issues, whether the video times out, the video doesn't upload, or they have limited space. They may only have like 100 you know, megs. They may only have like, like 100 gigs. I mean, the variables of these platforms range from, from high to low. So the solution for that, most people then go to YouTube. Right. They use YouTube videos, they use Vino videos, and they'll take these videos and they'll embed them in their courses. But unfortunately, recently, YouTube has updated. And again, you're at the will of these particular platforms around the clock. They make new updates, they make new algorithms, they change things left and right. So now YouTube has this new thing that shows up on the bottom left of a video. So imagine you're in a course and you're paying to be in this course and then you see a little button on the bottom left of someone's video that says watch on youtube well that, that kind of defeats the purpose of paying for that course at that point now you're going to look at this thing you're going to click on it and then you're going to be forwarded to youtube which takes you away from the course creators platform which is the big no-no if you're creating courses you want to keep whoever watching the videos in the platforms so the solution i'm going to go over today let me go ahead and share my screen. I can kind of break it down for you. And I'm going to do a step-by-step -step on like how to do it, where to get access to it, and like how does it work and what does it really look like and how do you customize it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right. All right. So this is one of my courses. And this is an example of at the top, it's a YouTube video, right? It plays just fine. You hit play, it plays, it does what it needs to do. It looks great. But the problem is at that bottom left-hand corner, and, and it also has like the more videos that sit on top as well. So obviously there's ways that you can input code to, to update that and change that. But, you know, taking away your controls from your YouTube video kind of gives you a limitations. It makes it a little bit more limited for you as a, a course creator. So how do we get rid of this, this little button that was showing up on the bottom left? Well, this player looks pretty much like that player and I can customize this new player as well. If I hit play on it, it's going to pretty much give me exactly the same things that the YouTube video does. Now, keep in mind, it's not as fast or responsive as YouTube because it's going through another vendor, but when it loads, it plays and it plays perfectly fine. The issue at hand is there's pros and cons to any system that you're going to utilize. So I'm going to show you like, what, what does this system look like behind the scenes? Like, how do we set it up and, and how do you get access to this? Right? So it's called killer player. Now killer player, it, it, it's a, it's a new platform that's, you know, been on the, I think probably this year came out. It was an app sumo deal, which means it's a lifetime deal, which means you pay for it one time and you get unlimited access to that platform. So this is my video on YouTube. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to share this video. I'm going to copy the same exact link that I've used inside of my course. And I'm going to go to the, the player and then I'm just going to paste it in, right? Then I'm going to hit next. Now, once I hit next, then it's going to, you know, take a minute for it to process and it's going to generate the, the player. It's spinning right now. So I could just skip to the next screen. So now this is what it looks like. So below it, there's opportunities for me to customize it. And that's one of the reasons why I like this player because I can customize the hell out of it. I can you know, make it purple, make it green, whatever. And then there's also other native player formats in there. So if I'm looking for a native player, I would click this format, give it a second for upload, and then it's going to change the look and feel of the, the player below. Uh, let me click on this one. This one should be drastically different. Give it a second for it to load. Now you can see it looks more like Vimo, right? So then I can still customize this as well. If I want to customize, it, I can go and change the colors. It's as simple as I wanted to make this white, FF, FF, FF. Obviously white on white doesn't work, but just for giving you an example, you can see how that works. If I pick red, it'll show up red. So now once that's in there, the next thing I need to do is just go to embed. It's gonna create the embed code for me. I copy the embed code. And then I just go to the environment that I'm going to upload the code. So in this case, I'm using GuruCam. And 
you can kind of see like these these three sections are the three videos. Now this video is is an issue that's that's going on with Google Cam right now to where the videos are uploading, but they're not converting right they're, they're starting to upload but they're finishing but they're not finishing 100 percent. so this video is not going to show up and i had the thumbnails and everything set up correctly but this video is not loading right now now again it could be any other platform and you can face the same exact issue then you can do the youtube but if you do the youtube video then you're going to have the play on youtube button on the bottom left so the other alternative would be to use killer player and literally i'm just going to drop in the html code right here hit save go to preview and it's gonna load, right? So, and I think this page is gonna load a little bit slower than they should because I got like multiple different players on here. So this is the YouTube one that loaded right away. Watch on YouTube again, we don't want that because it's taking people away from my platform. Now I have the player below and then all my other content is below that. So obviously this is a, this is a fix. Again, no fix is 100% perfect, but the beautiful part of this fix, it solves two problems, one, it allows you to have unlimited videos without taking up any space on any platform. So you don't have to worry about your space anymore. And two, you don't have to worry about YouTube switching up their plans and saying, hey, watch on YouTube or whatever, whatever else they're gonna do moving forward. So it allows you to have opportunity to remove this without losing the quality of your content. So hopefully like this helps. Um, again, the link to it would be bossandcage.com slash killer player i'll put it in the comments below and i can just show you what that looks like so when you get to app sumo it's just killer player i mean right now that this, this thing has like a, like a 169 all five taco reviews and taco is if people that don't know app sumo it's stars so it's five star reviews it's a great platform and again it fixes a lot of problems that marketers and course creators are having right now with their video content essay grant over and out